som är kastat på gatorna. I Örebro här kostar renhållningen varje år av gator, parker och torgerna 7 miljoner kronor. För att kunna minska den här kostnaden har vi i år startat ett städkampanj tillsammans med Öbo där vi försöker att påverka folks attityd och förhoppningsvis slänga mindre skräp. I det här projektet har vi flera aktiviteter, bland annat gemensamma städdagar med aktörerna i City. Vi har också satt ut flera större papperskorgar och vi har skaffat en gatustädmaskin som tvättar gatorna här i Örebro. He will, uh, I guess he is already in front of the espresso house and he will call uh, the robot with a mobile phone. I'd like you to step back a little bit because the robot will um, use the path here. So to step back behind the tape. Now he will call the robot. The situation is he has some garbage he wants to get rid of. The robot drives by itself down there. Uh, then it will collect garbage. It's also supposed to interact with uh, pedestrians. So you would go to the robot and you could via the touch screen, uh, for example, also get some information about the life in, in this town, about uh, garbage disposal and so on. Uh, and while this robot is going back, we are now turning the attention to, to this robot, which is the dust clean robot. This is called dust cart robot. And this robot is actually at an earlier stage, so I really like to ask you to go back beyond the tape. Um, this robot is, compared to the other one, is supposed to clean actually the street. Sometimes too clean. <laughs> so now we will actually um, demonstrate with some pieces of, of garbage here uh, how the dust clean robot, the blue one, uh, deals with that. This robot is uh, approximately 350 kilo kilograms, right? 250? And um, for how long can it operate? Uh, about uh, three hours. Uh, so uh, it's an autonomy of three hours cleaning the streets and then you come back to the docking station. Och den, det finns vatten in i själva roboten så att den kan rengöra, rengöra gatan. Now it, it's received the call, you know, it's connected to, uh, it has internet access, phone call was received, and the robot starts. The user that actually... Hello. 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 Back a little bit for uh, the the robot. It now goes towards uh, the tent, and in the tent, this is supposed to be the um, discharge area. Here, for it, for the demonstration, for the sake of the demonstration, we um, have a simulated. Yeah. Actually, I realized that I think it was a photograph half of you with the first two cameras.